Alley Center is a very important landmark for Louisville. It was a brainchild of Muhammad and his wife Lonnie Ali. They are both natives of Louisville and it was very important for them to build a center here in Kentucky in their hometown that would continue Muhammad's legacy for years to come. They wanted it to be a place that would really educate people, especially young people, to you know, really motivate themselves to find greatness within. The Ali Center has two and a half levels of award-winning exhibits, and they are organized around the six principles of Muhammad's life, confidence, conviction, dedication, respect, spirituality, and giving. Muhammad Ali is one of the most recognized people in the entire world. He was actually coming of age about the same time that television was coming of age. And so it was this natural, natural fit. He was very poetic and, you know, would predict his fight out outcomes um, in rhyme on television. Um, and so inside of the center, we have a lot of multimedia that showcases Muhammad in, you know, different, different parts of his life and for different reasons, you know, from the civil rights era to amateur boxing, his professional boxing his affiliation with the Olympics. There is a really dynamic exhibit called The Greatest, and it's two levels. People can come in and look down and see this, this huge ring. The boxing ring, actually, that was used in the Ali movie with Will Smith in the early 2000s, and it's used as, um, as a backdrop for the film. We try to make the exhibits to really understand the different facets of his life and what motivated him, how Muhammad reacted to what was going on in the world. Another favorite exhibit is called Lighting the Way, and that is also very uh, motivating and inspiring. It focuses on Muhammad's 1996 Olympic torch lighting experience. We also have the torch that he carried in that Olympics, which a lot of people might not know. Muhammad comes into the center um, when he can, and it's almost entirely unannounced. It takes seconds for the message to spread. Autographs, pictures, he's just, he just has so much patience. He, he loves seeing people in the center. He loves you know, seeing what their, their feedback is on the exhibits. The Ali Center has a brand new exhibit called Global Shoes, and it's for kids to learn about other cultures through shoes. You've heard the expression, um, you know, walk a mile in another person's shoes. Well, this exhibit takes you thousands of miles around the globe. We have um, samples of shoes that are worn in Mongolia, samples of shoes that are worn in China, samples from South America, Iceland, all over the world. It includes a fantasy shoe store as well as a shoe factory. So kids can go in and they can actually learn where different supplies around the world come from. They can get on the phone and order them. Um, they learn about the materials that shoes are made of. They can actually make a moccasin. There are feet that they can wrap the shoes around. There is just so much to learn and do. To have temporary exhibits here that are made for kids is invaluable because it gives teachers, parents, grandparents, friends, you get to come back to the Ali Center and see something new. He started boxing when he was 12 years old, and that seems to resonate with a lot of kids. Because if they look at pictures of Muhammad when he was 12, and they're like, he looks just like me. You know, he's just a kid, just a kid. His life story is so inspiring that there's so many lessons to share with young people about Muhammad's life. Just by his ability to dedicate himself to something, to achieve something so big, between the temporary exhibits, the permanent exhibits, and everything else we do, it's, it's really a moving 
and inspiring museum. Thank you.